This interview is for information only and should not be considered as investment advice or a recommendation to buy shares in the company featured. Welcome to this stock box interview. Joining us today is Professor Richard Conroy, the Chairman of Conroy Gold. Thank you for joining us again, Richard. How are you doing? Uh, we're doing very well indeed. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm very, very happy to, to join you and, and, and update you a little bit further on, on what we're doing. Indeed. Well, you wanted to tell us a little bit about the uh, the fact that Conroy had actually purchased shares uh, in a recent financing with Carillion Diamond Resources, didn't you? So what, uh, what's that all about? Why are Conroy investing in Carillion? What's the opportunity that you see there? Well, we see a very good opportunity. As you know, the two companies have been uh, closely related in the sense of uh, sharing services and so on like that. Um, and... Uh, uh, so there's a, a flow of 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 of, of funds uh, in one sense or another, uh, and uh, as it so happens, at the end of this financial year, uh, Karelian would be owing uh, Conroy uh, about a quarter of a million in uh, euros or sterling, and um, they they knowing uh, the transformed situation of Conroy, where we have a a joint venture partner that's covering all the uh, heavy exploration expenses, um, they suggested uh, to us uh, that perhaps we would like to uh, take roughly half of the amount in uh, in shares. Uh, they were doing a, a small placing at the, at the time um, and uh, have the remaining amount uh, uh, changed into a, a convertible uh, loan. And uh, we considered this, and we felt that it was a very good opportunity for us uh, to come in and to have a, a share uh, in uh, Karelian. Um, and uh, uh, so we uh, both mutually uh, agreed to it, both, both boards with the independent directors on either side uh, recommending it, okay. because we're very much aware of the fact uh, that uh, uh, Karelian, uh, first of all, uh, it actually uh, has acquired a diamond deposit in Finland uh, and uh, has recently got the necessary uh, ground permissions in relation to that diamond deposit. Uh, and secondly, there's been carrying out an exploration program uh, for many years uh, in relation to, to diamonds in Finland and is now at an advanced, uh, very interesting uh, looking stage with the uh, exploration program. And the rationale of that exploration program, of course, related to the fact that uh, just across the border uh, in Russia, you have two of the largest diamond deposits in the world, the Lomonosov deposit and the Grip pipe. And there's no geological reason why you shouldn't have something similar on the Finnish side of the border. And we're aware, of course, that Karelian has reached a stage in which it has uh, something over 20, I think 23, uh, very attractive um, uh, diamond uh, kimberlite targets, uh, um, which are, are at, at this uh, advanced uh, uh, stage of uh, exploration. Uh, and as well as that, uh, of course, it has uh, a very uh, early stage, but very interesting exploration uh, program in uh, Northern Ireland uh, for nickel, uh, copper, and platinum group metals. Uh, so we're looking at a situation. Uh, in which, uh, in exchange for uh, approximately uh, 100 and, uh, 112, uh, 125,000, um, we are uh, gaining a 5% interest uh, effectively in the diamond mine, uh, effectively in the advanced uh, diamond exploration program in Finland. We're already very familiar with Finland because Conroy itself. Uh, has uh, gold exploration licenses there. So uh, we're well aware of the tremendously advantageous position that uh, Karelian uh, is in and uh, look forward very much to, to um, having a, a percentage of that, 5% of it effectively. Uh, we're also, of course, working in Northern Ireland ourselves with Conroy uh, Gold and Natural Resources uh, with some 
uh, very, very exciting uh, gold results uh, there. And of course, a joint venture partner uh, to cover, as I was mentioning, the uh, heavy expiration costs. So uh, an attractive uh, nickel, uh, copper, uh, and uh, uh, platinum group metals program, albeit at an early stage, uh, is, is, is certainly something well worth looking at. Okay. And then we have the balance of the money, of course, uh, uh, in the situation in uh, which, which it's uh, a conversion uh, loan, 112,500. Um, and uh, uh, with that, we'll be able to decide, depending upon how things go, well, do we convert that and take up a further approximately 3% or so um, of Karelian? Uh, or, uh, in actual fact, take the cash. Uh, so it's a very attractive proposition uh, from Conroy Gold Natural Resources' point of view. Uh, adds very considerably uh, to our assets and potential, and does so uh, at a relatively minimal uh, cost. Uh, we could well see that equity very considerably increased, perhaps many times over, Okay. either through the uh, discovery of a significant uh, diamond deposit in Finland by the development uh, of the diamond mine, which is over there, uh, or by this very interesting, mostly very early stage, uh, nickel, platinum, copper uh, exploration program. So it's very exciting for us. Uh, greatly widens our uh, interests and does so at a minimal uh, cost uh, and with very considerable uh, potential. So we're very pleased uh, with the situations added greatly to potential overall potential of Conroy Gold and Natural Resources. Okay, so it's an investment decision based on some potential and increasing Conroy's exposure to other projects and other minerals. Was a decision taken independently by the respective boards? Because of course, there is crossover there with um, you being chairman of both companies. Yes, and yes, indeed. Um, on either side, uh, the independent uh, directors uh, came to their own uh, resolution uh, in the matter, uh, which they duly transmitted both to the boards and uh, to the nomads. So it was um, very much, uh, uh, although we're very closely associated together, uh, nonetheless, we made sure that all the necessary independent checks and cross-checks were fully covered. Okay. And while we're here and on Conroy, what's any any latest information you can give on the current uh, joint venture with Dima Export? Well, we're very very happy with it to see it's it, it's speeding ahead. As you know, we've had this fantastic discovery in uh, in one of our license areas in the north, and well, other work is also going going well. So we're very very happy with it indeed, and okay. uh, hopefully we'll have, be having further uh, trench and assay results in due course. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Richard Conroy, the chairman of Conroy Gold, for your time today. Good to talk with you. Thank you. If you enjoyed this interview, then give us a thumbs up, a like or a retweet. Subscribe to us on YouTube or follow us on Twitter and hit that notification bell to be the first to know when we release new content. There's loads of great content on our website too, across all our programs at stockboxmedia.com. Thank you for watching.